to this process in step-by-step -step instructions so that we can repeat it over and over without your approval and without your feedback. That is the most important thing. Because you're gonna take this process and we're gonna give it to a computer to do. You're gonna be on vacation. That's why you can't have this sort of approval or feedback system. The computer has to be able to make that decision on its own. So therefore, when you write down these steps, step-by-step -step instructions, part of those things is you have to be able to actually put those uh, decisions in place as part of the steps. If this, then do that. Those are the kind of things that we need as developers in order to turn your ideas into a real code that can actually be put into a computer. Now, I understand. Does delegating everything to a computer, does that make anybody else nervous? Because imagine if you do this and everything went wrong. Like, just hell or break loose, you lose clients, it's terrible. I, I understand. It, it, would make, it would make me feel really bad and even as a programmer, these sort of things really scare me too. So, the thing was is that the way I think about it is that as, as you scale up, the problem is it always starts to really go down, right? So, and I'll tell you part of that story is that what scares developers the most are steps that actually involve the word sometimes. I'll give you a concrete example. So after we've sent the invoice to the client, after the computer has sent the invoice to the client, sometimes the invoice goes to Stacy. Sometimes it goes to Larry. This is the problem. Steps that have lots of variability is where we will find the most errors in the code. So that's a big problem. And variability is very hard to control and then therefore it is actually very hard to scale. Now, not all variability is bad. Uh, some variability is good. Things like personalization. You want to do that for email, that stuff is good. But what you want to do is you want to find the places where it doesn't add value. Simplify or cut out stuff where adding variability does not add any value to it. That's going to make your process scale. And where, the and where the steps are, where you actually do add value, the stuff that you kept, this is where you actually need to work very, very closely with developers. That's the part we need to get right. And to do that, what you want to do is focus on the final outcome. This is very important. Developer estimates are way more accurate when we can see the whole picture. Every picture, every whole picture, plus all the little details, all at once. Please do not give it to us in PCR. That actually makes it worse and it will actually cost you a lot of money. We need to see the entire picture, all of it. Okay, so you work with some developers and uh, I have this kind of weird little thing here. Estimating time for developers is kind of a hard thing to do. And when I was doing consulting, I had this funny rule. I take whatever time I thought it was going to take and multiply it by pi. 3.141592652. It's a very nerdy thing to do, but this is really accurate. It actually worked out pretty well for me. So, you want to work with developers. Number one, take your process. Please test it with multiple clients. Number two, please write it down step by step by step. Exactly. Simplify or variability doesn't add any value to you. Focus on the final outcome and add extra time. You can multiply by pi if you really want to. My name is Chris Lee. I'll be here tonight if you have any other questions. I'm on Twitter a lot. And like we say, big data, go big or go home. <laughs>